when he speaketh fear, believe him not. For there are seven abominations in his heart. Right, so when he speaketh fear, this is what the Bible said, believe him not. For there are a complete number of abominations in his heart to do what? To destroy the people that they destroyed, the contract, the agreement that he said, hey, come on, he speak, spoke very, you know, kind words. That's why we were giving them everything. And what did they do? They murdered us. No, if you can uh, read on. Verse 26, whose hatred is covered by deceit. Right, his hatred is, discovered, uh, is uh, covered by deceit. You know, they were very deceitful, lying to the people. You know, we gave everything, and they still was lying and still murdered us over and over again. Read. His wickedness shall be showed before the whole congregation. So that's why I said in the end, they realized they were in this building. They built a building for them. They built a place for them to live. And they called all the people in with fair words and nice speeches and speaking very kind words, and they murdered them right there. That's what he's talking about. This is a Spaniard telling the story of his people, what they done. Uh, okay, could you read that in, uh, in the Spanish? Proverbs uh, 26, uh, uh, Psalms 35 and 21st, and then uh, read that. And then Proverbs 26, 25 and 26. This one doesn't have. Okay, if you have it. <clears throat> Salmos 35, versículo 20. Porque no hablan paz. Okay, so cuando vinieron, como les dijo, hablan paz, pero no lo que tienen en el corazón, ¿eh? Y contra los mansos de la tierra piensan palabras engañosas. Ajá, so vienen en paz, pero en el corazón y en la mente es puras cosas mentirosas. ¿Eh? No, cero. Read on the next verse. <coughs> y, en, y ensancharon sobre mí su boca. Ajá, así y, que los pusieron, no los dejaban hablar. Era, era pura mentira es la, lo que está leyendo. ¿Eh? Dijeron, eh, ah, nuestros ojos lo han visto. Ajá, vieron el paraíso. Uh, Proverbs 26 and 25 and 26. Uh, Proverbio, cap, uh, capítulo 26, versículo 25. Cuando hablaré amigablemente, no le creas. Uh -huh. Así que cuando hablen paz, no le crean. Esta es, el, esta es la palabra de Dios. En la iglesia enseñan que el Señor viene, el Señor, el Señor Dios de nosotros viene en paz, en paz. La Biblia dice que viene en paz y viene en terror también. Es perfecta la valencia que tiene Él. Por eso, lee al principio. Cuando hablaré, hablagamente, no le creas. Ajá, así que cuando hablan cosas que es a gusto, no le crean. Uh -huh. ¿Le? Porque siete abominaciones hay en su corazón. Uh -huh, porque anda con siete espíritus uh, malos que tienen el corazón, que ellos son los que directan las cosas malas que hace él. ¿Le? Encúbrese el oído uh -huh. con disimulo. <risa> Cúbrense los oídos, no oigan las que tienen que hacer ellos. Ellos mismos les han enseñado paz, 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 para que cuando oigamos la paz, los recibimos y los destruyen. Y cuando los destruyen, siempre otra vez con paz. Es que tenemos que salir de esa de ese, de religión, modo de pensar, y empezar a pensar como lo dijo el Señor que pensábamos. Esa es la palabra de Dios que los dice, cuando vengan con paz, no hay que oírlos. Dice, cúbrense los oídos, si es lo que tienen que hacer. Para que no lo vayan a de, de decir. Más su malicia será descubierta en la congregación. Ajá, así que más las cosas malas cuando venga la congregación de Dios, cuando Dios regrese y los traiga todos juntos, se van a ver. Ahorita no se pueden ver porque ellos son los que son. Este es el reino de ellos. Cuando venga Jesús, Jesucristo como lo conocen ustedes, um, con su reino, el reino de primero Dios de nosotros, Él los va a enseñar, les dije que no le estuvieran oyendo a eso, por eso están conmigo. Los que siguen oyéndoles a ellos y con paz y amor, no les va a oír porque les dije, yo te avisé hace mucho tiempo que no les pusieran atención a ellos, pero les diste más atención a ellos que a la palabra mía. Perfecto. So I'm going to continue to read it. says, when I was on the island of Puerto Rico, this is an account of uh, Bartolome de la Casas, as he was giving account of what his people were doing. The Spaniards says, when I was on the island of Puerto Rico and had the opportunity to confront this particular commander with his wicked behavior and with having betrayed these people, his reply was, come off it, sir. The orders I had from my superiors were quite pacific. If I could not capture them in battle, I was to promise them peace as a way of tricking them into giving themselves up and then enslave them. 
when in conversation he admitted the enormity of his crimes and the shame he felt about them. He confessed that he had never felt more at home than he had on the island of Trinidad and that the local people that treated him as one of their own and had done everything they could for him. Yet incidents like this in which local people had been lured into giving themselves up by promises that no harm will be done to them, as we just read in the scriptures, so, say, have been commonplace enough on the mainland, and one is left to judge for him, for oneself the justice of such a method of enslaving natives. So, and on another occasion, the Dominicans, our own order, decided to mount a mission to bring the word of Christ to the peoples of the new world because they were ignorant of the truth and were accordingly and still are in mortal danger of being denied the life everlasting. It was decided to send among them a monk, a man of great virtue and holiness and full versed in theolo theology, and he was to have a lay brother as his companion. The idea was that they should get to know the lie of the land and make contact with local people with a view to deciding where best to establish mon monasteries. The people received them as angels from heaven, listening with rapt attention and great emotion and joy to what they had to say, even though this had to be conveyed by sign and gesture as the Dominicans did not speak the local language. After the ship which had brought the missionaries had sailed away, another vessel arrived. The Dominicans were not aware of it at the time, but the Spaniards invited the local chief on board this vessel together with a hundred of his men, ostensibly for a party, to party. It says, this local chief who was known as Alonzo, presumably a name given him by the Spaniards or by the missionaries, local people being very keen to acquire a Christian name and often asking for one even before they are taught the rudiments of Christianity necessary for baptism, would not normally have trusted such an inv invitation. But he was tricked into a false sense of security by the presence of the Dominicans, believing that the Spaniards would not do him any harm as the time the missionaries were there. So I hope you enjoyed this edition of Shield of Wisdom. I'm bringing you nothing but the truth. We're going to continue on this because it's very key for our brothers of the northern tribes and the southern tribes. We the 12 tribes of Israel. We as brothers, as you can see, we have five tribes here. We are all brothers in love. Coming back to the realization that we are the nation of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. And if you'd like more information, you can reach me, Priest Star Wam, at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California. Long Beach, California, 90-90801. Or call me at 562-426-3084. And I appreciate all you brothers for being here. And tune in next week. We're going to have the second part of the devastation of the ten tribes. And we're out. Amen. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Brother, brother, can't you see? 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 Can't you